Hey there, optional dev here. Cadbury Lion posted a thread asking for help with their grass here and then this update a few days later. I thought it would be a nice small project to replicate. Here you can see what I ended up with. Let's go over how I achieved this. I started with a main node 2D scene, set the project background to a nice green and renamed the first two physics layers to player and grass. Then I had to set up the player character. For that I grabbed this asset from the HIO asset library, link below. The setup is pretty standard stuff. Kinematic body, collision shape, uh, animated sprite, import uh, the spreadsheet and add four animations up downside and idle. Uh, don't forget to set the mask layer to grass. Add a script for walking, set up the inputs, animations and done. Next, in Photoshop, I drew the animation of the growing grass. Import that into Godot, set up a scene, area 2D with the collision shape, animated sprite for the growing animation and sprite for the fully grown grass. For testing, I placed three instances of the grass together with the player in a Y sort node. This way, the nodes with a lower Y position, higher on the screen, get drawn in the back. Next, the script for the grass. Connect the body entered signal, since the player is a kinematic body. In collision, hide the tall grass and play the animation. On animation finish, turn the animated sprite uh, invisible and the sprite visible again. That's all the code. To make the grass sway when it is at full height, I used a shader. Under canvas item, add a new shader material and add a shader to that. We want to make it sway on the x-axis, so we use vertex.x. Just adding the cosine of time makes it move left to right. Multiply that by the vertex.y to get different movement depending on the height, which basically just skews the texture. We can move the pivot of the skew up or down by adding or subtracting from the vertex.y. Multiply all that by 0.1 to dampen the sway. Finally, we can also multiply the time by 0.5 to reduce the speed of the motion. Next, on the main node, I added a script to place the grass for me. It just loops over a rectangle and occasionally puts down an instance of the grass scene. Even with a large area, uh, it still worked fine. Here I also added a camera 2D as a child to the player and set it to current to get the camera follow. This is already fun to walk around in. To break up the visual boringness of this unicolor grid-like field, I added some texture to the top part of the texture. I also made each shader unique and added an offset. This way the individual instances can sway out of sync. I also added some randomness to the position of the grass. And here we have it, the final result. All the code is on GitLab, link in the description. The commits are set at step-by-step -step intervals, so you can have a look at each stage of the process. I've also added a lot of documentation to the code, which I did not go into too much detail here. This was my first video, so I'd appreciate feedback and it pains me to say this, a like and subscribe. I had fun with this little project and would love to do something similar in the future. So if you have a 2D mechanic or effect that you want to see recreated, let me know in the comments. Preferably on Reddit though, link below. If you like this format, I can also recommend the channel Mix and Jam, which inspired me. They are doing mostly 3D stuff in Unity, link also below. Until next time, happy coding!